Yeah. Awesome. Oh, and uh, probably another thing that's pretty irritating, almost, it's like you're right there, and I've been on set with, like, big actors, but the rule is you can't talk to them unless they speak to you first. And if oh, you're having okay. a... Yeah, and if you're having a good conversation with them, you always have somebody like peeking in, like, like a an assistant or, or someone that that has power, and, be, and they'll just like pull you aside and be like, "No, no, you can't do that." Okay. And you okay. almost you almost feel like a prop, almost. I've been on okay. sets where it doesn't feel like that, but a lot of them, the the majority feel like that. Okay. Did you did you meet any actors like or like did you see any a big one at least? Uh, I saw. Like, there's a lot of actors that you can't even get close to, like, The Rock. He just always has an entourage. Um, I was on set with Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon for The Morning Show. And I was close. I was really close. But she had, like, three or four people, like, around her at any at any given moment. Like, she couldn't be alone at all. But I could have sworn I caught her checking me out. Could have just been, like, eyes wandering. But I, I looked pretty good. But <laughs> and I came out on that shot, but uh, typically it's not like that on the smaller sets. It is like um, I was on a commercial for Kenzo, this brand, this clothing brand, and they hired uh, Mila Jovovich from the Resident Evil series. And she showed up like out of nowhere and she was like, Oh, hi, everybody. And she was taking pictures with everybody. She was like hitting her jewel with, with other people. She was having a good time. And I was just like, This is rare. Like, you don't really meet people like that and if yeah, anything it's, it's kind of like the opposite like um like james corden <laughs> you don't want to you don't want to do anything with the fans yeah, yeah. i know yeah but um like uh specifically i was on this game show set with james corden and he's like the happiest guy on tv right but as soon as the camera's cut off it's just like and he doesn't talk to anybody oh wow yeah, so you get to see a lot of, like, who's genuine and who is really an act. But, like, a lot of the big stars are usually genuine, like The Rock. He's really genuine. Um, Rob Lowe, I was on set with Rob Lowe. He's, he's a good, funny guy. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you, did you actually get to meet with The Rock, or was it just, like, from a distance? Recently? Yeah, it was from a distance. It's tough. From a distance. Okay. Yeah, and uh, as soon as you see some – as soon as it takes – as soon as it's one background person talking to the the principal actor, then everybody like gets the green light. Okay. And then, then that's what happens. But that's why I kind of get like, they don't want anybody talking to them, but it's hard not to when you're right there. Yeah. No, it's true. It's like tempting. Yeah. And you see the director and he's talking about this and you're just like, I just want to ask him this real quick, or I just want to put this input, but you can't. But that's, that's probably one of the good parts is you're like, you're, while you're there, you could absorb everything. You could see all the equipment they use, um, how many people they use, what's everybody's job, and the kind of ridiculous jobs that you see in Hollywood. Like, uh, specifically, there's this one guy's job who's just to hold the camera for the cameraman. That's all he does. He's just sitting down, and then once the cameraman is done with this shot, he just gives him the camera and he holds it. And that's all he does all day. <laughs> 